Texas Chainsaw 3D. I just went this morning to see this because um, it wasn't something that they wanted to show. Because it's your job. And yeah. And uh, at the beginning, I went to see it in the Trocadero Cineworld and they started off by showing all the trailers in the wrong ratio. So this wasn't a good uh, start. Then they sorted out the ratio and then they showed the trailer for Autumn 2012 is going to be a great time to be in the cinema. Oh, I think it, last time I looked, it's 2013. But you know, you have changed over the lens. So no reason why you should have updated the trailer to get with the fact that we're not in Autumn 2012 anymore. Then starts the movie. Now, Here's the thing. It's rubbish. The 3D at the beginning, what we'd get is a rehash of the old, the original Texas Chainsaw with 3D. And then what follows is something that does that reboot remake thing. It's it's a new story. The Texas Chainsaw has happened. And now there's a new, so new people, but the new people will, during the course of their new stuff happening, basically go through all the set pieces that were in the original Texas Chainsaw, but in 3D and uh, with all the things that you loved about Texas Chainsaw taken out. Now, the thing to say about what this... What were the things that we liked about it? Here's what I liked. The original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and people it, people forget this, was when it came out was an extraordinary cinematic experience. It was genuinely... It was one of those movies that Last House... In the, I mean, there were, that was a point in which slasher movies were really... There was something about them. And John Carpenter said... He said, we went to see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and he said it rode the edge of taste. He said it was like it was threatening to lose the audience the whole way through. And then at the end, he said he went home and he slept like a baby. The reason was, he said, it pacified my soul. When James Furman, then British uh, censor, tried to cut the Texas Chainsaw Massacre because he looked at it and he thought it was far too intense. He couldn't cut it. He said the reason he couldn't cut it is there's almost no blood in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There's one tiny moment when somebody gets their finger pricked, and that's the moment of blood. But he said it's the oppressive atmosphere. It's the lack of logic. It's the fact that nothing is ever explained. I mean, obviously, the story has its roots in the story of Ed Gein, and strangely enough, there are comparisons here between this and the Hitchcock movie, which is coming out, which in which Hitchcock has visions of Ed Gein in the farmhouse in Plainfields, Wisconsin. Watching this, it's like all the things that were done that made the first movie epochal have gone out of the way. So there's nothing unique about it. It is now one of an ongoing franchise of redoing Texas Chainsaw. The 3D is utterly stupid and irrelevant, and a lot of the film is dark anyway, and it makes it 30% darker. And at a couple of moments, the chainsaw gets waggled in your face. Doesn't look like anything, just looks like a bad 3D effect. But most importantly, the whole thing that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre had, which was this oppressive atmosphere, this, this I mean, it was like l l looking into the abyss, has all gone and is now just replaced with full on 3D gore. Kim Newman said an interesting thing about Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. He said, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, which was directed by Toby Hooper, doesn't look like a film that was directed by somebody who didn't make Texas Chainsaw. It looks like a film directed by somebody who didn't even see Texas Chainsaw. Texas Massacre. 3, yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas 3 was a film that was described by John McNaughton, who was directing Henry Porter, a serial killer, was offered the option on it as a film about people as meat. The various Texas since then have gone even further downhill. This looks like a film by somebody who has seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre and wishes they weren't making Texas Chainsaw 3D. It is utterly without interest. It will come and go through the top 10. I was bored for every moment of it, even going, okay, that's Toby, Toby Hooper's fun house. Okay, that's that scene from Texas Chainsaw. That's that. Friend. It was rubbish, 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 but it reminded me what an epochal and extraordinary film the original Texas Chainsaw was.